welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Ash. Thank you all to my new subscribers. Special welcome to them. And what a day it's been. I did my episode 7 review this morning at daybreak and now it is nightfall. So I've watched the episode uh, another um, once through, a couple of the scenes I've watched more than that. So I've seen it about three times now. I've watched the trailer a good couple of times too. But before we get started into anything, let's roll the trailer. For clothes, make sure you're all on the registrar's website. All we can do is wait. Let's get married. I'm serious. You. You could have been honest from the beginning. I was honest with you. Well, then why did you agree to it? Because I love you, Kiara. None of us know how things are going to turn out. Maybe the best thing to do is just stay true to who we are. Okay, so now everyone's seen it. We don't have too much to go on, to be honest. Um, they obviously want to leave it that way because it's the season finale. This episode has to keep us going for probably at least a year, hopefully no longer than that. It's election day. We're going to find out if Bet fucking Border becomes the mayor of Los Angeles. I'm really going back and forth. I'm I, Once I convince myself, yeah, she, she has to win, you know, that there's not really too much going on relationship side as we know. So this would be, you know, a really great thing and it's something new for the character and... But then I'm like, how would they do this in the show? Because obviously all of Bet's time is going to be taken up if she's the mayor. I would really like Bet to win. I think that would be super cool to have, even if it's just on television, an openly lesbian mayor of Los Angeles, like, about time. But again i'm not sold so we'll see the next scene is danny saying to sophie let's get married uh, they're already engaged so i'm assuming it's let's get married now or let's get married tomorrow sophie unsure they do a quick scene of finley saying to sophie what do you want and what does sophie want i mean she's saying she's not going to tell danny what happened should she really be going into a marriage that way? Should she really be kissing someone else if she's going into a marriage? Of course not. But I don't know whether we're gonna, maybe we'll get a cliffhanger. She'll, Danny will find out because it's the L word. They always find out. So we also shall see what happens there. Shane and Kiara is the next scene. Just a really quick um, argument between them of Kiara basically saying, you should have been honest from the beginning and did I miss something because Shane was very honest from the beginning and I also don't remember Shane being there whenever she got pregnant it was a surprise to Shane and all of us so I think Shane's been pretty clear and yes she loves her that's why she's going along with this but she's been honest all along saying she doesn't need a kill a kid oh sorry she doesn't need a kid to feel fulfilled and it also doesn't seem like she really wanted the child but she's going along with it because she loves Kiara so I don't know how I mean that technically they are divorced so who knows what's going to happen there Alice it looks like she's giving her staff kind of a rallying speech to they're doing their obviously last show they need some sort of viral video i have a feeling the viral video bet something's gonna come from all of this maybe that helps save alice's show in some way they did make up at last episode so um i'm glad that they're back on on good terms because my favorite part of Generation Q has obviously been the three, four originals. The only last episode I was a bit, um, not annoyed, but I would have really liked to have seen um, a Tina, Bet, Shane and Alice scene, or even a Tina, Shane, Alice scene. They had some of the best friend chemistry in the original. 
especially you know the like I think it was season five where Shane makes the pot brownies and like Don Denbo and stuff so uh, that was a great episode really funny hopefully Alice's show she can't be cancelled can she I mean we got season two of the L word Alice needs another season so hopefully that's what happens but another scene with her looks like she's about to walk on stage I mean it could be going either way she's getting ready to go on stage and celebrate or commiserate or um maybe you know announce that she's stepping back and conceding the election so I don't know um personally if I really had to decide one way or another I think I think she's gonna win um but now I say that and she won't win, so we'll we'll see what happens there. The very last scene is Bet and Angie standing up. It looks like they're in the Wood Hills and things like that. So they're like standing on the edge of a trail and like just screaming into the city. So is that a scream of yes we won or a scream of frustration and let's burn the city to the ground sort of thing so we shall find out next week a few other things going into the episode again i talked about will alice's show survive will bet win or lose is tina in the episode i'm thinking she's not because one i'm pretty sure they would have at least shown her i know there's a few people that they didn't show but Tina is a main original character and it was huge news that that she came back I just feel like they wouldn't waste an opportunity like that for the trailer even if it was just you know a quick like the way they showed Micah and Jose a quick um flash going into this episode if she's not in it Tina and where that's what we're left with at the end of season one I'm really glad we're getting obviously I'm glad we're getting season two but if that was the way they were gonna leave Bet and Tina after everything was okay we never found out who Je who killed Jenny but as far as Bet and Tina's storyline those two as characters they ended the original L word very very well like it was nice it was a happily ever after for the couple and to bring the show back and if they were only going to do one season to basically completely burn to the ground what the entire relationship was i just i i don't understand it so i'm hoping that my faith isn't misplaced and you know they all know what they're doing so i just hope that there's some sort of resolution because all day i i was out like for coffee for breakfast for lunch and the second i got home today and i was like oh i'm gonna do the trailer breakdown all i've been thinking about is poor bet like i cannot get over her face i mean it just speaks again i know i raved about this in my episode review but jennifer beals just she's so amazing and I, I've watched that scene quite a few times like five at least and you know taking screenshots and things like that so it's just she is so devastated and I just feel so bad for Beth like she has to win she has Beth has to get some sort of win this season I mean when the show came back originally I, I said this something similar in my review too you know, Shane's getting off a private jet, Beth's running for mayor, Alice is in a great relationship, everybody's like happy and bright and sunny, and now it's just like seven episodes of like, a train has ran through, destroyed the town, <laughs> everybody is miserable, like Alice is alone now, Shane and Kiara are on the rocks and arguing, I know Shane was coming into this about to get divorced, Bet is a broken woman. <laughs> There's no hope for the rest of us if freaking Bet Porter and Alice <laughs> are, you know, 
completely alone and devastated. Alice also, the more I kept thinking about this, Dana and Laura weren't in a throuple or anything, but Alice's girlfriend fell in love with someone else and left her. Tasha, the way we ended the original L word, there was a very similar situation going on with, with Jamie, even down to the fact that when Nat and Gigi were the whole thing, the whole breakup thing was happening, they were ordering food and it was like they'd got the same thing. I swear, I, I mean, I'm gonna go back and watch it tonight, but there was something, re a really similar scene with Tasha and I think it was Jamie, the, the character was called. I haven't watched season six in, in a little while because it's season six, but I'm pretty sure it, there was a similar scene with like them ordering the same thing. Please help Alice, please get her someone nice and who's gonna be loyal to her. And also please someone help that. Uh, my heart really goes out to the two of them. Now, I did have a brief thought there where I thought maybe they should, get, they should get together, but no, that would be a disaster, I think. So that is the last season one, The L Word, Generation Q, trailer breakdown. Obviously, next week, I will still have episode eight, the season finale review. And this week, I, I will have, when they start releasing uh, screenshots and things for the the next episode I, I will do a video or two and I will post some Bettentina content too from this this episode. I also am thinking about because come next week I mean we might have some news that we can discuss for a while and every so often there'll be L word news but for the main point there's not going to be too much L word content coming out for the next couple of months or at least until they start filming again. So I was thinking about going back and starting with season one of the original L Word and doing some reviews or even some discussions about things going on there. Obviously it was way back in early mid 2000s. So I think it'd be, I, I watch the show again, probably once a year. So I think it'd be kind of interesting to to maybe do a couple of discussions. If anyone wants to watch along, that'd be kind of fun too. So let me know your thoughts on that. As I said in my review earlier, if you guys would like to win the rainbow shirt with everyone's names that I had on this morning, I think it's the cast of season three, all the names are, cause Carmen's on there, Jenny, Max, or the shirt I'm gonna wear on Sunday that says Bet Porter for Mayor. Please, all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment down below. You can comment anything you want about the episode, about character, anything. It can even just say, I love the L word. So if there's any questions, comments, you wanna discuss anything, comment down below as well. If you like this video, please give it a like and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a good day, take care, bye.